Hello everyone. The title of our paper is Detection by Attack. Detecting adversarial samples by undercover attack and it is accepted by ESORICS 2020. Abstract. The safety of artificial intelligence systems has aroused great concern due to the vulnerability of deep neural networks. Studies show that malicious modifications to the inputs of a network classifier, can fool the classifier and lead to wrong predictions. These modified inputs are called adversarial samples. In order to resolve this challenge, this paper proposes a novel and effective framework called Detection by Attack DBA, to detect adversarial samples by undercover attack. DBA works by converting the difficult adversarial detection problem into a simpler attack problem, which is inspired by the espionage technique. It appears to be attacking the system, but it is actually defending the system. Introduction. The figure illustrates how an adversarial sample makes neural network-based systems vulnerable. Human beings recognize each of the two images as a vehicle no-pass sign. The image on the left is an ordinary image of the vehicle no-pass sign. However, the image on the right is crafted by adding tiny perturbations to the original that forces a particular DNN to classify it as a tree. In the text scenarios, we change a punctuation in the positive sentence and deep models misclassify it as negative. These misclassified samples are called adversarial samples. Detection by attack DBA, works by exploiting the vulnerability asymmetry between adversarial and normal samples, which indicates that adversarial samples are more vulnerable than normal ones. Therefore, if we attack an adversarial sample and a normal sample with the same infinity norm perturbation, the disturbance brought to the prediction of the adversarial sample is higher than that of the normal sample. As shown in the two vertical columns in Figure 1, after applied undercover attack, the predicted class of the adversarial sample has changed, while the normal sample has not. Contribution a new direction is proposed to detect adversarial samples by converting the difficult detection problem into a simpler attack problem. Future research can protect the system by designing superb attack methods. This paper reveals that the adversarial samples are more vulnerable than normal ones when they are attacked for the second time. DBA works by leveraging the vulnerability asymmetry and is robust to the perturbation size and confidence of adversarial samples. It is demonstrated that DBA can be effectively applied to images and texts. Moreover, it does not rely on the knowledge of the attack mechanism, and performs well in both detector-unaware and detector-aware scenarios. Background. Adversarial attack. The main goal of the attacker is to craft a sample that looks like a normal one. It may be modifying a few pixels in the input image, or changing a few words in the input text. These minor changes in the input can lead to a wrong prediction by the target model, while it remains correctly classified by human eyes. Goodfellow et al. hypothesized that adversarial samples could be found using only a linear approximation of the target model. They introduced the fast gradient sign method, FGSM, to craft adversarial samples efficiently. The FGSM works by linearizing the loss function in the L sub infinity neighborhood of the original image. Specifically, epsilon is an important and adjustable parameter. The larger the epsilon is, the more adversarial samples can be successfully crafted. BIM applied the FGSM multiple times with a small perturbation size beta. JSMA works by modifying a limited number of input pixels with relatively large perturbations. CW sub 2 is an optimized attack framework that passed a range of defenses. Boundary attack is initialized from a point that is already adversarial, 
then performs a random walk along the boundary between the adversarial and non-adversarial region. Therefore, it stays in the adversarial region, and the distance towards the target image decreases. Background. Defense. Defense methods such as network distillation and adversarial training, aims at constructing a robust model. The robust model has a loss that is quite flat both in the gradient direction, that is the steeper direction, and in the random direction, whereas the traditionally trained model varies quite rapidly both in the gradient direction and after moving some in the gradient direction in the random direction. Background. Detection. Due to the challenge of direct defense, many recent studies have turned to the detection of adversarial samples. Feynman et al. claimed that the kernel density KD and Bayesian uncertainty BU of adversarial samples are different from the normal ones. The figure on the right illustrates how BU works. The dashed line indicates the mean prediction and the shaded area indicates the 95% confidence interval. While two test points, red crosses, are equidistant from their nearest training points, black dots, their uncertainty estimates differ significantly. Furthermore, the randomized methods have been employed in several studies by introducing noise to smoothen the features. However, most detectors fail in the white box case, where the attacker is aware of the detector. Detection by attack. The training process of our framework consists of two steps, as the following, 1. Injecting adversarial samples to train the classification model. Adversarial training. 2. Training a simple multi-layer perceptron MLP classifier to judge whether the sample is adversarial. As shown in the above figure, the classifier H' prime should not be fine-tuned. Because the process of obtaining x plus delta x star is an independent undercover attack that cannot be back-propagated. For an input x, x may be normal or adversarial, the undercover attacked sample is initially obtained via undercover attack. The difference between FGSM and undercover attack is y, where y sub true is replaced with y sub pred. It is worth noting that Y sub pred is the predicted class produced by the classifier H, X, rather than the true class of the input X. This change is conducted for two reasons. Firstly, it is impossible to access the true class in the real world. Secondly, the primary purpose of DBA is to measure the vulnerability of the sample. In our framework, the vulnerability originates from the disturbance between the current hidden vector V sub 1 and the attacked hidden vector V sub 2. The vector V is obtained to capture more information between V sub 1 and V sub 2 by referring to eSIM, and a simple MLP is trained to classify the input X as adversarial or normal. Why DBA is effective? DBA works by leveraging the vulnerability asymmetry between adversarial and normal samples. After attacking a normal input X sub 1 and an adversarial input X sub 2 with the same infinity norm perturbation, the probability of Q, X sub 1, does not equal Q, X sub 1 plus delta X sub 1 star, is lower than that of Q, X sub 2, does not equal Q, X sub 2 plus delta X sub 2 star. We will analyze it in a linearly separable condition. Note that X sub O denotes the corresponding original normal sample used to craft X if X is an adversarial input. Undercover attack aims at adding delta x star to x and making sin f, x plus delta x star, does not equal sin f, x. Theorem 1. It is assumed that normal and adversarial samples each account for 50% in overall samples, and they are uniformly distributed in their corresponding regions. Moreover, r is the minimum detection accuracy of normal and adversarial samples. 
Considering the perturbation of undercover attack subject to infinity norm of delta x star is less than or equal to delta, then equation 11 is obtained. With the constraints in theorem 1, x sub o plus delta x star 1 could be obtained instead of x sub o plus delta x star 2 in A, while both x sub o plus delta x plus delta x star 1 and x sub o plus delta x plus delta x star 2 could be obtained in B. Therefore, Input x satisfying sin f, x plus delta x star, equals sin f, x, is regarded as, normal, and x satisfying sin f, x plus delta x star, does not equal sin f, x, is regarded as, adversarial. Suppose that the maximum value of the adversarial perturbation she approaches delta. Then, the minimum detection accuracy r will approach 1. Corollary 1 indicates that if the perturbations of adversarial samples are smaller, the vulnerability asymmetry between normal and adversarial inputs will become more prominent. Moreover, since the strong attacks work by perturbing minimal pixels delta x, dBA becomes more effective when facing adversarial samples generated by stronger attack methods, e.g., CW sub 2. Suppose that the adversarial training reaches the global optimum. Then, the equation 15 is obtained. Corollary 2 demonstrates the necessity of ensuring epsilon in adversarial training is the same as that in undercover attack. If no adversarial sample could be found within the epsilon norm ball of X sub O, then epsilon approaches delta and the minimum detection accuracy R can be determined by epsilon. Theoretically, dBA performs better with larger epsilon. However, an excessive epsilon will decrease the accuracy of the original classifier on normal samples. For the general setting, if the normal and adversarial samples are separable in some feature space phi, the hyperplane can be written as equation 18. Therefore, it is straightforward to lift the analysis of theorem 1 to this setting. Although dBA can work well in ideal conditions, there are two limitations in practical applications. On the one hand, when the samples are non-linearly separable, such analysis requires inputs to be initially transformed into a more complex feature space phi. However, such a feature space is not easy to find, so we do not perform the transformation in this paper. On the other hand, Undercover attack in our paper can guarantee equation 12 in binary classification, while it may fail in multi-class classification. Vulnerability asymmetry analysis. The figure shows the distribution of DKL on images and texts. MNIST and IMDB are selected as example datasets, and the results on other datasets of images texts are similar. The blue dots and red triangles represent normal and adversarial samples, respectively. It is observed that the D sub KL of adversarial samples are significantly larger than that of normal samples on both images and texts. Experiments results. DBA can achieve a high recall rate of 99.3% and a low false positive rate of 0.2%. In the detector-aware scenario, DBA can remarkably downgrade the attack success rate from 67.37% to 2.1%. Compared with the existing methods, we can conclude that our method outperforms them in both the detector-unaware and detector-aware scenarios. Impact of perturbation size Theorem 1 indicates that the detection accuracy increases with smaller adversarial perturbation. Since the four attacks, FGSM, BIM, JSMA, and replace attack, can control the perturbation size easily by adjusting their hyperparameters, the impact of perturbation size based on the four attacks is investigated in Figure 5. The results show that as the perturbation size increases, the detection accuracy decreases, which is consistent with theorem 1. Moreover, 
DBA is more robust to the increase of perturbation size with the cooperation of adversarial training. Impact of perturbation confidence. Another essential issue is whether DBA works well on high confidence adversarial samples. The impact of confidence is investigated on BIM, JSMA, CW sub 2, and replace attack by increasing the number of iterations until the confidence of the target adversarial class subject to the equation. Figure 6 shows that DBA is more robust to adversarial confidence than perturbation size. Especially for CW sub 2. The detection accuracy is always at a high level. The results prove that the core factor that affects the performance of DBA is the perturbation size, especially infinity norm perturbation, rather than confidence. Conclusion. If someone wants to bypass DBA, it is required to generate a sample that can fool the model and be robust to undercover attack. However, it is difficult to make an adversarial sample robust to undercover attack. Since an adversarial sample is generated from a normal sample, it is inherently vulnerable. At least one attack method is to roll back to the original sample, which is a successful attack for the adversarial sample. In future work, we will mainly conduct research from two aspects. On the one hand, we will try to overcome the two limitations introduced in section 3.3. On the other hand, it is planned to improve the performance of DBA by adopting other attack forms, such as L sub 0 and L sub 2 attacks. Thanks.